Hey, I'm Travis Pastrana. We are here, Salt Lake City, again for the second annual Nitro World Games. The first year was absolute, I shouldn't say dumb luck. There was a lot of eh, luck, some people would call it. Yeah, a lot of luck behind it. But we basically didn't have any of the landings built for almost any of the jumps. They were all brand new. So we had been jumping the airbags with the guys um, until this event. And we literally built the, the freestyle motocross landing was the first time it was ever up, was right here in Rice Eccles Stadium. And the guys were trial and error. And it was a little steeper than it probably should have been. Uh, the skate ramp wasn't quite right. We don't have a lot of skaters on tour. So all of the technology that we had been building had been geared towards BMX and scooters and motorcycles. Um, so I feel like those ramps were pretty good last year. They've evolved a little bit, except for the triple hit, which we wanted to leave that more, um, especially now even with the, the Olympics uh, allowing bicycles uh, you know, for 2020 or 2022 um, summer games, um, we want something that is going to be easily accessible for everybody. But this year, we were able to open up basically the the World Games Open qualifying for three months, where everyone had access to all the ramps that we're using, all the airbags, all the the technology, all the foam pits, all the systems that we use, um, and basically access to riding with the best in the world. So I feel like this field um, is way more competitive than last year. Uh, the ramps are more fine-tuned than last year. Um, we still, we've been testing all kinds of new stuff. Uh, we had a quarter pipe for Moto that we were hoping to get in, but there was four guys that were dominating that ramp and there wasn't enough guys that were really competitive to have a, a whole field. Um, plus they were going a lot higher than we expected. They were close to, to 90 feet above the ground. Um, so the safety measures that we had in place, I didn't feel safe that if we held a world championship, uh, someone wasn't going to go down and, and be seriously injured. So uh, that's going to be for next year. When we figure that out a little better, we get a little bit more competition there, but uh, always pushing forward. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's wild. Wherever we travel around the world, everyone's like, oh, well, why do you carry so many Australians? I'm like, because they're the best. And then Salt Lake, they're like, oh, well, there's a lot of Salt Lake guys, so is this truly a world field? I'm like, no. Like Utah, if it was a country, is the second highest, <laughs> basically, number of, of people, um, you know, if you take that out of the, the U.S. Uh, total. So I, I feel like it, it's pretty amazing. And when you go to open qualifiers, um, the interesting part was there was more people, especially in freestyle motocross, um, from other countries than there were from U.S. or Australia. And I feel like that's because those guys don't have a lot of access to show the world what they're capable of. So uh, we have a lot of guys that you may have never heard of that are actually very, very competitive and have a good chance of, if not winning, being on the podium here.